for the best medical and paramedical lectures subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay connected with us hello everyone my name is rohan as we all know that the whole world is suffering from this coronavirus and everyone is trying to defeat it this virus shows many symptoms in human body including hypoxia which is the topic about to worry in this lecture we will learn about oxygen administration and its management so that it can help us to cope with this problem so let's begin without wasting any time so we will start with the basic introduction of oxygen oxygen is a gas found in air and has no color smell or taste it is completely odorless sense uh, tasteless and odorless and it is very necessary for life sustenation oxygen has the symbol o and atomic number 8 oxygen makes up 21% of oxygen atmosphere by volume oxygen is obtained by two methods that is distillation of liquid air and by passing a clean dry air through the zeolite that absorbs the nitrogen and leaves the oxygen oxygen is used in, in, in industries water treatment and as a therapy so this was the basic introduction of oxygen what is oxygen where it is found how it is obtained and which are the methods now we will move on the definition of oxygen administration oxygen administration is the process by which the supplemented oxygen is administered in a high concentration than that of the atmospheric air so that is the oxygen administration that is in which the supplemented oxygen that means the artificial oxygen that is created in a, that is stored by created and stored in the cylinders or any other container and that is given in the high concentration than that of atmospheric air now sources of oxygen in hospitals therapeutic oxygen is available from two sources number one wall outlets or we can say as the central line oxygen number 2 oxygen cylinder or there are two types of oxygen cylinder one is stationary and second is portable or mobile ambulatory the stationary oxygen cylinder are fixed they can't move from uh, one place to another and the other portable or mobile ambulatory oxygen cylinders that are uh, easy to po portable and can move that are found in mostly ambulance and uh, home therapy treatments now what is the purpose of oxygen administration so why we do oxygen administration and for which client we should have to do this now so number first is to relieve dips dyspnea to relieve the breathing difficulty number 2 prevent the hypoxemia and hypoxia hypoxemia means the low level of oxygen in the blood and hypoxia means low level of oxygen in the cell and to increase the oxygenation in the tissues for this purposes to relieve these things the, this problem oxygen administration is done now what is the indi indication of oxygen administration where we have to do the oxygen administration in which patient and for which conditions number 1 severe respiratory distress like acute asthma and pneumonia intra and post opera uh, post operative because in this situation patient can't take uh, enough uh, breath so we have to give oxygen from the outside source then hypoxia and hypoxemia low level of oxygen in blood low level of oxygen in tissues or cells then shock severe trauma acute myocardial infarction in this all things patient can't breathe properly patient can't uh, complete the oxygen uh, supply, uh, supply to its body properly so we have to give the oxygen from outside source now what are the precautions for oxygen administration avoid neck flame near the oxygen cylinder put no smoking sign at the entrance of the ward and near the patient bed to warn the others do not use oil on the oxygen cylinder oil can ignite if exposed to the oxygen do not use electrical gadgets or any articles which can cause sparks near the oxygen cylinder and do not give the oxygen to the hyperventilated patient first of all we have to know that uh, we should know that the oxygen is very highly inflammable gas without it the uh, without oxygen fire cannot burn so 
oxygen cylinders and oxygens are kept away from the smoking or the fire flames or any kind of spark electrical spark or anything like that we should not have to use the oil on the oxygen cylinder that uh, it can initiate the fire with the help of oxygen do not use any electrical gadgets that can uh, because it can be the risk and do not provide the oxygen to the hyperventilated patient keep oxygen cylinder in dry and cool place to avoid the fire mark oxygen cylinder to indicate whether full or empty always check that uh, whether the oxygen cylinders are full empty or how much pressure is it uh, present in it use only carrier with a wheel to transport the oxygen cylinder do not roll the oxygen cylinder because it may cause the spark and uh, there is are the, there are the chances of uh, catching fire oxygen must be administered at the rate of percentage prescribed uh, how much the doctor has prescribed there uh, in that amount only oxygen has to be administered not more not less do not adjust the flow meter until instructed encourage or assist the patient to move about in the bed to prevent the hypostatic pneumonia and the circulatory difficulties encourage we should have to encourage our patient to move about in the bed to prevent the stiffness or the hypostatic pneumonia or the circulatory difficulties in its body now what are the articles equipments that we need for the oxygen administration for in the client so first of all the main thing is the oxygen source there are any kind of central oxygen wall outlets or oxygen cylinders flow meter humidifier with sterile water oxygen tubing nasal catheter or a mask gallipot or with a cotton swabs water soluble lubricants bowel containing water and oxygen precaution signs so first of all we should have all these things including gloves for the administration and equipments that we need for the oxygen administration now as we see these is parts of oxygen cylinder on the right hand side we can see the oxygen cylinder it can be stable portable or uh, voila means uh, stable okay now here we can see the flow meter in this many things are given let us see the flow meter pressure gauge oxygen input uh, plug pressure adjuster oxygen input pipe humidifier bottle oxygen outlet flow adjuster and flow meter the flow meter uh, uh, describes the uh, amount that we are giving to the patient pressure describes the pressure present in the oxygen cylinder oxygen input plug that is the uh, where, where the oxygen is inputted from the cylinder uh, oxygen output the cannula or the oxygen mask that is connected humidifier bottle that humidified the oxygen because it is too dry oxygen output pipe where the oxygen comes out from the cylinder and the pressure adjuster we have we can adjust the pressure from the cylinder from com uh, to coming out now uh, other things are oxygen mask nasal cannula and oxygen stand transporters this also these are also needed for the oxygen administration now what is the method of oxygen administration basically there are many ways of oxygen administrating but uh, most of commonly used these two by mask and by nasal cannula what is administration oxygen administration by the mask see you in this in this picture you can see the mask there is exhalation ports and oxygen inlet and uh, on the right hand side you can see how the mask is worn on the patient now what are the requirements for this oxygen administration by the mask oxygen source oxygen tubing oxygen mask bowl containing water gallipot with a cotton swabs oxygen precaution sign and gloves now what is the procedure it's simple check the order they are given by the doctor including the date time and flow rate explain the purpose and procedure to the patient to gain his or her cooperation and trust and relieve his anxiety observe safety precaution is given oxygen and let the patient and other patient and visitor know the danger involved wash hands and dry assemble the equipments and make patient comfortable in the bed first of all we have to check the prescription that is given by the doctor then we have to explain the procedure to the patient in respect to gain his trust and relieve his anxiety we have to tell the danger of this oxygen uh, administration uh, to the uh, relatives and other patient that uh, they can uh, be aware and do not initiate any fireable flammable things near it 
वी शुड हैव टू वॉश हैंड असेंबल द इक्विपमेंट्स एंड मेक द पेशेंट कंफर्टेबल इन द बेड अटैच द फ्लो मीटर विद ह्यूमिडिफायर फिल्ड विद वन थर्ड ऑफ द वाटर एंड प्रेशर गोज टू द्रेडेड आउटलेट ऑफ द ऑक्सीजन सिलेंडर कनेक्ट द ट्यूबिंग फ्रॉम द मास्क टू द आउटलेट ऑन द ह्यूमिडिफायर टर्न ऑन द की ऑन द ऑक्सीजन सिलेंडर एंड पुट द एंड ऑफ ट्यूबिंग इन द पावल ऑफ वाटर टू टेस्ट द फ्लो ऑफ द ऑक्सीजन apply the mask over the patient nose and mouth and adjust the elastic strap over the client head to keep the mask in position use gauze gauze piece or cotton swab to reduce the irritation caused by the elastic strap especially on the patient scalp and ear regulate the flow meter as prescribed uh, for example 2 or 3 liter per minute uh, per minute in adults and half by 2 liter in childrens so we have to connect the flow meter with the humidifier that is filled with a one third of sterile water and connect it with the pressure gauge connect the tubing with the mask and outlet of the humidifier then we should have to turn on the key of the oxygen cylinder so that the oxygen can be passed from the cylinder to the humidifier or the flow meter then we have to apply the mask on the patient and uh, use the gauze piece on the uh, contact area of the skin of the mask to the mask we have to use the gauze piece to reduce the irritation and uh, we have to uh, regulate the flow meter as prescribed by the doctor now stand by uh, the, this is the main thing that we have to observe the stand by, by to observe the flow of oxygen for some time before leaving the patient bedside document the procedure and wash the hands regularly check the patient for any abnormalities regularly check the flow meter and the gauge to uh, for the amount of oxygen in the cylinder and water level in the humidifier remove the mask from the patient when he or she is better turn off the oxygen and make the patient comfortable in the bed and record and report any abnormalities so now we will move on the another procedure of oxygen administration that is oxygen administration by nasal cannula as you can see the parts of nasal cannula it is a right nasal prong left nasal prong delivery tube that is oxygen delivery tube and restraining trend that fits the oxygen uh, nasal cannula on the patient nostrils so what should we require for the oxygen administration by the nasal cannula first of all oxygen source then oxygen tubing nasal cannula mask bowl containing water gallipot with the cotton swabs oxygen precaution sign and gloves now what is the procedure of oxygen administration by the nasal cannula check doctor's order including date time flow rate and method explain the procedure to the patient and care to gain his trust and cooperation and to relieve his anxiety observe the safety precaution is given oxygen and let the patient other patients and visitor know the danger involved wash hands and dry assemble the equipment make patient comfortable in the bed attach the flow meter with a humidifier with one third of water and the pressure goes to the threaded outlet to the oxygen cylinder connect the tubing from the nasal cannula to the outlet to of the humidifier turn on the key of the oxygen cylinder and put the end of tubing in the bowl of water to test the flow of the oxygen clean the patient nostril and place the cannula in the patient nostril send the tubing over the patient head and adjust it behind the patient head and ears encourage the patient to breathe through the nose and in exhale through the mouth on the trap more oxygen into the trachea which is less likely to be exhaled through the mouth see this is the only difference that we can see that in the oxygen administration by the mask and oxygen administration by the nasal cannula this is the we have uh, its placing style how we should have to place the oxygen mask and how we should place the nasal cannula only this is the difference between the mask and cannula regulate the flow meter as prescribed example 2 3 liters per minute in adults and half 2 liters in the children stand by to observe the flow of oxygen for some time before leaving the patient bedside document the procedure and wash the hand regularly check on the patient for any abnormalities especially the nurse for the irritation in an interval of 4 hours regularly check the flow meter and gauge the amount of oxygen in the cylinder and water level in the humidifier so uh, remove the nasal cannula and it is after care now what is the cleaning of the nasal cannula in the mask what is the after care of the procedure so yeah, after each use the oxygen cannula and the mask must be cleaned properly by soaking the cannula or mask in a soapy water or savlon for an hour dry it properly clean the tip of the cannula with the spirit swab with the mask clean the interior 
uh, interior before the reapplying to the patient. So we should have to dip the mask or cannula in the soapy water or the savlon for an hour to kill all the microbes and uh, prevent uh, from the further infection. Now we will learn the advantages and disadvantages of mask and nasal cannula. First of all nasal cannula and what are the advantages of nasal cannula? Patients are able to talk, eat and drink with the oxygen in place. Patient can omit or let oral secretion out easily without any interruption in oxygen delivery. It delivers low concentration of oxygen. What are the disadvantages? It can easily dislocate from the patient nostrils. It can uh, cause irritation in the nostrils and it can cause the dryness in the nostrils. So now what are the disadvantages and advantages of mask? First of all disadvantages. It must be removed while talking, eating, vomiting and drinking. It obstructs the coughing, it blocks the vomitus in the unconscious patient, it, carbon dioxide may build up in the mask and it causes the skin, skin irritation. Aspiration of the vomitus is likely when the mask is in place. On the advantages are, it delivers a high concentration of oxygen, it, it's quick and easy to apply. Main thing of Main thing, main difference between the mask and nasal cannula is nasal cannula is used for the low concentration oxygen administration and mask is used for high concentration oxygen administration. First, then we will see this last thing. What are the side effects of oxygen administration? Mainly three things: oxygen toxicity, dryness of mucous membrane, and infection. I hope you all have understand it well if you have any doubt then you can ask me in the comment section and uh, before leaving this please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay connected and tuned with us thank you do like leave a comment and share with your friends